established in recent years uh, to benefit uh, young kids uh, who are uh, in one fashion or another in need of assistance. They may be developmentally disabled, they may be physically disabled, they may have social or psychological issues that prevent them from integrating easily uh, into the camp environment. So um, I have been very interested in the programs that the center has developed over the years to assist those kids. My brother um, was, for all of his life, uh, what is now known as developmentally disabled, and different phraseology for it in those days. He attended the camp as well, and lived into a young adulthood, uh, and after he died, uh, we, the family, uh, put some money together and gave it to the center in order to establish an endowment uh, to fund the kind of programming that the center didn't have at that time, but has since developed uh, to assist with uh, kids in need of uh, attention. The center has established uh, a program um, in which they hire for the summer, they hire young college age or maybe slightly older uh, advocates uh, to come in and work with the kids in, this, in the camp. Um, it's almost on a one-to-one -one basis. I think last year there were something like uh, 10 or 12 advocates and 14 uh, students uh, that were being serviced at the camp. Uh, and the advocates, are, by training and by education, uh, are uh, uh, focused on the particular needs of each, each child. My own view is that this is an integral element of uh, what the center is and ought to be. This can't be a better example. You take a child uh, who is in need of assistance, but who also wants to experience uh, the collective enjoyment uh, that is provided to kids of that age at a summer camp experience, but otherwise without that assistance wouldn't be able to do it or wouldn't be able to do it fully. Mm -hmm.